Okay, Bryson, so we know that you have this wonderful testimony to share with us about healing. So first, we want to know what was the problem that you were facing and how long were you dealing with it? And just give us a few examples of uh, what kind of pain it was causing in your life. Yeah, so I had this weird, like, um, spasm in my upper abdomen. And it was weird because I had it for, like, a year, year and a half. And it kind of started out gradually. Um, it just... Every now and then I'd get this weird pain and I'd brush it off. I wouldn't think much of it. Then it started growing. And then uh, just time after time, I just noticed it was really hurting. And I went to the doctor. He told me that it had to do with gastritis, which gastritis runs in my family. And um, it was just something that I was like, okay, well, I need to start doing what I can to take care of it. And also, I'm just going to keep praying and believing God that it's going to go away. Um, but... Time went on, and the pain just kept getting worse and worse, and the spasms actually went from just every now and then to uh, every day, almost all day, uh, and when it, when it did stop, it would only be for like an hour, a half hour, um, and then it would come back, and it'd be just, it felt like something was moving in my stomach, uh, but it was like my muscle, something was like bulging out, it felt like a foreign object in my stomach, and so as it was doing this, I, I just kind of, uh, over time, um, started to think, well, maybe this is, you know, I, I started kind of accepting the lie a little bit, just getting used to it. Not that I, not that I, you know, wanted it, but it was just, I got used to it. And um, it was, it was last week, Pastor Vlad started talking about um, dominant thoughts. What are our dominant thoughts? And one of the dominant thoughts he was talking about was sickness. And I realized, I'm like, man, I know this is not of God. I know this is not for me. I know that God uh, has health for me and that he died for my sicknesses. And so during prayer, uh, as we were praying, everybody was praying in tongues and the atmosphere uh, was just filled with the presence of God. I just started removing those lies. I was like, look, I was just coming against the enemy and just saying, no, I refuse to believe that this is my portion. I refuse to think that I'm going to be sick or that this is going to be a part of my life. And I just started just taking those things out of my mind, just removing them. And as I was praying, literally that thing, because it, like I said, it was going nonstop, uh, where it was pounding and pounding, it just, just stopped. In the moment that I was praying and declaring my healing and just removing the dominant thoughts, God healed me instantly. Amen. Let's put our hands together for wonderful Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Truly, our God is an awesome God. So, Bryson, now you said it was last week that this happened. How, how are you feeling now? How long has it been? Yeah, so this whole week I have not had that spasm in my stomach, which, like I said before, if it stopped, it was like a half hour, an hour at most. Um, and last week I told Ivan, I was like, I, the moment I got healed, I was like, look, I got to tell somebody God has healed me. I believe it. I'm trusting God. Uh, and since then, I haven't had no pain. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. So, Bryson, now that you've received this healing after a year and a half of having this gastritis pain, doctors didn't know what to do with you. They couldn't even fully diagnose what it was. Now, we know that there are many people who have struggled with the same kind of sickness and maybe are even here today that have something like that. What can you advise them uh, in regards to receiving their healing? Uh, I would just say keep believing, trusting God. If you have thoughts, if maybe you've noticed, maybe you're coming today and sickness runs in your family. Maybe pain has just become the normal thing for you. I want to I wanna challenge you to step out and believe God that what you have, these things, is not what God has for you. And that you can lay it out down at the cross and God will bring you the answer for you. So. Amen. Let's put our hands together one more time for Jesus. Thank you, Bryson. Thank you for watching this content. I hope this was a blessing to you. If you're like me and you like to click on things, click on this, subscribe to our channel, and the content will come to you every time we post it. And remember, the best is yet to come.